This tutorial is going to be about creating a book using a PDF file that you have to upload. So this is really easy. From the main page on our site, you just go to Upload PDF and click once. You're going to go to step one first, and there's a lot of options, but don't be overwhelmed. It's pretty easy once I explain everything. First thing you're going to do is put in your book title. So I'm just going to type that in right now. And then I have three options for the interior of my book. I can do a full color, which is what I'm going to do because I have a photo book. Or I can do a monochrome book, which is your more traditional novel. Or I can do a calendar. For the cover options, I don't have an Apple iPhoto or Aperture book, but I do have a separate file that I wish to make my front cover. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse, find the file I want, and just select it. There's also two more options for the front cover. You can use the first page of your PDF, which is the option right here, or if you have a full wrap image and see our wiki for how to do that, you can check that box. I do have a separate back cover, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Upload a Separate File for the back cover, then hit Browse, and then select my back cover. This is probably the most important step. This is the interior file of your book, so this is pretty much the bulk of my book. I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse, and then I'm going to go ahead and select my PDF that I wish to upload as the interior of my book. Once you've checked everything and made sure it's the options that you'd like, you simply hit Upload PDF. So now we're at step two. If it took you a little while to upload your file, don't sweat it. Sometimes larger PDF files actually take a while to upload. So simply just let it run and it'll eventually take you to step two. As you can see, step two is all about the cover. So what we're gonna actually do first is make a thorough check of your cover. You see this soft cover trim line, it'll be red for soft covers and the trim line will be orange for hard covers. Regardless of what color line you have, you want to make sure that you have no important content out falling on the outside of this line. This includes text and images. During production, anything outside of the trim line is actually going to be cut off or folded under depending on the type of book you have. That's definitely not something you want happening to the cover of your book, so make a thorough check. If you find out that you do indeed have elements outside of this line, you simply make your adjustments in the PDF program you use to generate your PDF, or you can go into Photoshop and make your adjustments there. What you do once you have saved your adjusted images is you come down here to cover images and use this link to upload a new front cover and this link to upload a new back cover. There are also some other things you can do on this page. If you'd like, you can add cover text and color, adjust the colors if you make any changes, you want to make sure to click Update Cover. Otherwise, your changes aren't going to show up. Another thing you can do is if you decide not to remove the Vial Vial logo, you can decide where it's going to show up. So you can pick it right over here. And you can also make sure that you have the product URL on the back of your book so this book can be purchased again by family or friends. As I don't want to make any changes, this look looks great as it is, I'm just going to scroll back down and hit next. So my book has now generated and I can check the inside of my book using the layout or flip preview. I personally prefer the layout preview because it lets me zoom in. But I, what I want to do is just zoom in and then check show crop guides. And like the trim line on the cover of the book, anything in the red for a large book is going to be trimmed off and anything in the pink for a small book is going to be trimmed off. You can check the sizes on our wiki, which co what constitutes as a mini book. But the main thing to keep in mind is that you don't really want anything in the red at all. And if you're a large book and you're getting into the pink, you're getting a little hairy. So the main thing is to keep all of your images and text and anything important away from those lines. Once you've finished looking over your book, you can go ahead and purchase it. So that's all for using a PDF on our website. We thank you so much for watching this screencast, and we hope you check out our other screencasts on our YouTube.